What's going on YouTube? This is Ryan Reacts with another video. And oh man, good old Tom McDonald. I've always been a fan. I ain't gonna lie and say that. I haven't always been a fan. First song that I really got into to even know who the heck he was was Sober. And I've been a fan ever since. He's one of the only artists who didn't put himself in the category like all the other ones. Signing themselves, putting that freaking pen into their skin to get the blood, and signing that dotted line. Independence. What this country is supposed to be founded upon. Independent, right? So it's great that he's actually continuing to do that to this very day. And I love the controversial stuff. I've been into Illuminati and conspiracies and all this stuff for well over 10 years. So to finally see a fresh, a fresh breath of just truth coming out of somebody. Somebody who just does not give a crap about what others think. Being able to have his own style, not giving in to what people want, but he gives in to what people need to hear. So I think that's really cool. The song is Cancer. Now we all have people that we know that know people that have had cancer. We've had people in our close families, our loved ones, friends, etc. There is a cure out there and they ain't gonna give it. Because if they do, that's billions that they lose out on. But I'm sure Tom's going to talk about this kind of stuff, so I'll let him do the talking. Everybody knows someone who's sick. 40% will get cancer. Only half's going to live. Your mom and your dad and your sister stand inside a room. And someone won't survive it. You hope it isn't you. I swear that cancer has a cure, but they're refusing to make it. They've done like 40 years of research, 90 billion in donations. We've been running for the cure and wearing ribbons for ages. Why are yeah, Susan G. Komen or whatever with the ribbons. Come on, I always figured it was a joke. Like, just a way to extend it, you know? It's like 9-11. Never forget. Well, how can we forget? You keep reminding us every freaking day. It's nice to have research, and it's nice to have... People that genuinely care and want change. But the thing is, is that cancer was most likely created to affect people. So then they sell you the cure, or uh, the treatment rather, because there's really no cure. Although I just said earlier there was a cure, but there's no publicly accessible cure that you won't be able, you won't be able to get it without like a trillion dollars. And even then, because they create it, they can also create something that makes it wear off to where you got to keep paying oh wait they do that already chemotherapy <laughs> which is killing your good cells and your bad cells it's killing everything and then the cancer just grew back sorry i know i said i'll let tom talk but i can't help it gotta put my little stuff on it because i'm just i'm passionate about this stuff people still going through radiation it's crazy Hundred billion dollar industry, they can't afford to end it And nobody wants to die, our only option is to spend it We'd give anything to stick around for just another second Give a fortune to the doctors who promise they can extend it The profits are astronomic, the hospitals and the clinics Are filling coffins with dollars, it's awful, let's just admit it We're all human, we'll keep fighting cause it's how we survive But it's scary cause we don't know where we'll go when we die Don't give up, I know you're strong Decent hook. His voice is always awesome. Um, and the lyrics behind the, those vocals are always good. And that's a thing, too. That's a good point. So it's not just about living, because you can be alive, but not actually living. You're just breathing. So even though you're surviving cancer, or you're surviving this or that, or AIDS, mentally you're dead, because you just, you're just filled, you're just filled with, like, pain and the ones around you and you know 
you're, you have to live that way. You have to live not to the fullest. So although you're alive, you're not living. So you're still, like he was saying, you know, just restless nights, tired days, stuff like that. It sucks. It really does. I mean, my mother passed away from it back in 2013, September 2013. And, you know, I don't need any condolences or sympathy. She had a lot more problems than just cancer anyway. She did it to herself with her lifestyle choices. Mad cigarettes. And it's funny because I quit smoking cigarettes a few months before she died of cancer, but I didn't quit because of her. I quit because of me. But yeah, keep killing it, Tom. It matters if you don't have your health. All the money in the world doesn't help. The good might go to heaven and the bad might go to hell. But no one wants to leave here, you can tell. And cancer. Yeah, because we are afraid of the unknown. I'm a firm believer. I do believe in Christ. I do believe that you can't have this without something. So nothing, it's impossible for nothing to create everything. So something created all of this, but I'm not going to talk about that now. Um, as far as not wanting to leave here, it's because we're afraid of the unknown. We don't want to lose our loved ones. We don't want to be away from them. This is kind of all we know, ultimately, because as far as your last uh, vague memory, you existed. So because you existed, you don't want to go somewhere where you don't know the outcome of so yeah, good point, Tom. It touches everyone, it's in our genetics. And our world's become so toxic, it's all carcinogenic. We've polluted the water, the air, the food we're ingesting is full of hormones and poison, and our population's infected. They yep. You know, you look at those white lines out in the sky. That's just uh, contrails. No, those are chemtrails. Spraying chemicals, putting lithium in the water, uh, aspartame in the milk growth hormone, um, GMOs, glyphosate, Roundup, you know, you take a, you pee into a cup, you get it tested, they're going to see so many parts per million of glyphosate causing infertility issues, uh, stunted growth, uh, too much estrogen, you know, and that can cause a lot of uh, behavioral things, influences. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they bombard us with everything. These phones with 5G, put it up to your ear, get a brain tumor. There's no escape in it. There's no escape in it. Cancer comes in many forms. Sell us cigarettes and liquor, built a business on addictions. We've been paying them to kill ourselves. We're dying to keep living. It's the system, it's a prison. We keep trying to beat it. We get cancer from keeping all of our demons a secret, and our insurance don't cover. And that's kind of true because sickness grows and spreads. If you keep it suppressed mentally, you know it's there, so you're stressed out about it. I mean, the saying, you know, the truth shall set you free. People don't, they don't want to face the truth. They want to keep it suppressed and locked in. They want to keep it swept under the rug. They want to keep stuff just hidden in their closet because they don't want people to know their secret desires or deepest, darkest things that go on. Um, and we're all guilty of it. If you say you're not, you're lying, which that's a sin in itself. Bearing false witness. But the main thing I think he's trying to make is stress. So stress is a killer. It's crazy. The things we need to defeat it. And even if it does, then we might die from the treatment. Our best defense is living like we- I gotta keep pausing. I'm sorry, Tom. I'm sorry. Because everything you say is so like, whoa. So yeah. It's just like medication. Soldiers out there. Post-traumatic stress. So then they take a drug. And then they ended up committing suicide from the side effects from the drug so it's causing the problem that's supposed to prevent and that's just one element <clears throat> you know they intentionally sprayed agent orange back in the day and then you a lot of people's grandparents who fought in the war were keeling over i've known people personally that has 
had to get open open heart surgery. Some survived, some died. But again, although they're they survived, they're living. They're too old to really have a fulfilling retirement because they're they constantly go to the VA. They're constantly going through treatment. They're constantly in pain. So it's hard for them to live a life full of fulfillment. And with this corona crap going on, you know, it limits people from doing a lot of things or wanting to do a lot of things. The world's chaotic. Do not know what cancer is. Fight it if you have it and pray that there's something after this. to fight when you're afraid and you can experience strength till you struggle to carry the weight and you won't know why you have faith till you look the devil in his face and you don't know what you can take till you realize you didn't break Good job, Tom. Spectacular, man. Good job on the beat. Nova, you're always killing those videos. You're insane. I don't know who that Logan guy was, but hey, it's always cool to, ex you know, have an extended hand, creative vision. But Nova kills it. Tom, you kill it. Another thing I didn't really add was people put their grandparents and other uh, loved ones in the nursing homes and a lot of times it's not the disease that kills them but it's the nurses giving people too much morphine or some type of drug it's called the end of life cycle and unfortunately that's happened to my grandmother and my mother it's whenever they feel like they're beyond the past of no return that they pull the plug essentially they murder you you're considered then a useless eater where there's nothing left for you you had your life you have this you know it's it's kind of like a dog that gets hit by a car uh, it's they're done for so you just put a bullet in their head just to get them out of their suffering from being limp under that vehicle they're still alive but they ain't making it so let's just end them that's just the analogy that makes sense hopefully to you but yeah I hope and pray that justice is definitely served like Tom said you know praying that there's something else after this I hope the scumbags who could have did something about all this I really hope that justice is served for them because they're they're disgusting so, yeah even in the nursing home <clears throat> the nurse was much older than my own mother but she was outside puffing away on a cigarette as I was exiting to just go back to work because I was just visiting her in this home and by the way I it wasn't my choice for her to go into this nursing home it wasn't my choice I was much younger and it was pretty much on her her caretaker, her uh, aide, who my mother blindly just gave her the rights to pretty much everything, even her bank account. Yeah, how about them apples? But that's another story. Basically, this old woman was smoking a cigarette, and I'm just like, 
you're here to help these people, right? You're here to like treat these people for cancer and other problems. Majority is from lung cancer, but you're out here puffing away. And then all I could think of is she's going to be in one of, in one of these beds one of these days. She probably already is. This was back in 2013, so seven years ago. She, this woman, I was probably already in her mid 60s to early 70s. It's ridiculous. But as always, guys, may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Have a fantastic day. We'll make it through somehow, some way. <laughs>